Hi Virgo, welcome uh, to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of July. As usual, I have a special sales offer that it's inspired in the Cancer theme season we are on and it's called Moon Spell. And basically it's a reading that guides us through a better understanding of our own lunar qualities and the lunar moment we are experiencing, what's at our favor, what's more challenging, and kind of what kind of special, you know, uh, lunar mystery is, in, you know, uh, manifesting as well in our lives at this time. So if you'd like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services, again, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Virgos. There's something that feels quite different um, from usual. There's a sense of breaking, um, breaking free from a mold that has hold certain importance or significance in your life. And I feel like for some of you Virgos, there's a, a little bit of a change again, something different about um, your 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 ideals, your philosophy of life, um, the rules you live by, the things you perceive as being the right things versus the wrong things and so forth. So your month has... Um, an importance and, and this is a message that I believe has came as well in has showed in a, in a June readings for you is that with the Hierophant still here in your reading there's a sense of uh, some of you Virgos are being called to access um, a level of understanding and a level of knowledge basically that is not found in your mundane day-to-day -day, you know um, conversations and relationships there's something about this hierophant especially being in the soul position that is like god wants to speak with you the universe is speaking with you your guides are speaking with you so it's very important that you stay attuned during this time that you stay aware that there are ideas uh, thoughts, even, you know, um, choices, faculties that are being developed during this time that are not um, accidental, that are not random, and that are not, you know, out of purpose. So there's a feeling of what you think, what you perceive, the construction of the, how you call it, the construction of the, the evaluation you're making of situations and people in your life. It's very much based on a level of spiritual knowledge that you're gaining at this time. Not to say that you don't have it already, but it feels like some of you Virgos are really gaining additional wisdom, additional awareness of what truly matters and what truly truth, you know, truth, what truly truth represents to you. What is your truth? What truths do you live by? What choices do you make? Do, do they align with those same truths? Some of you Virgos, and this is also a message that has, you know, showed up in June. So there's a continuation of the theme for you. Uh, some of you Virgos are guides, teachers, healers, or just indicators, let's put it that way, of paths, spiritual paths in particular. This to say that you might be a teacher or a guide or someone with an ability to positively, you know, indicate a way 
to others without knowing you are doing that. So it's very important that you gain that understanding that you are like... um, Some of you Virgos are in a moment where you're really an agent for others. Where you're really capable of bringing into people's awareness many things that without your presence or voice or you know insight whatever you offer to those in question um they wouldn't they wouldn't reach that they wouldn't reach that without your help triggering information and awareness so you're a trigger for others obviously this has a very positive side and then it has a side even though in this reading it doesn't show I feel like some of you Virgos are really in in, in, um, in check with this energy where you feel balanced about when to say something and when not to say, you know, when to interfere, when to not interfere. So some of you already know or have a balanced notion of when you should do something and when you should not. But there's a minority that may be still struggling here to learn on, you know, the moment of, the moment to act, the moment when you should act, the moment when you should say, the moment when you should do versus don't. Also, by having this type of, inter, you know, intermediate intermediate um, position between one thing and another thing, and you're in the middle. This means that it's nothing like it's, it's, it's something that is like no joke. So like there's a serious responsibility associated with you being in the middle of two things, being that again either you're bringing unity, either you're bringing agreement with these two energies, or you're bringing them wider apart. So. When you're asked to be a mediator of conflict in your family, in your work, in um, relationship with groups of friends, whatever it is, it's very important that you use this mediator energy with responsibility because you do have power in that mediator role. And I know this feels like a reading like it's speaking a lot to others, like you being you know there for others you being you know living more to the role that you play to others but it's not like that because i feel like some of you virgos actually what this is speaking to at a more personal level for some of you is that some of you virgos might be accidentally accidentally discovering your purpose in life discovering this very high level of um, special something in you that you wouldn't acknowledge before, that you wouldn't see before. So through the impact that you see you have in others, you see something very precious about yourself. And for some of you, this is helping you restore your sense of self-worth and confidence in who you are at a very essential organic level as this is the nine of pentacles how beautiful you feel how good you feel in your skin how good you feel with the things you own how good you feel with the work position you have it's a very at the same time that you're growing higher let's put it that way or you're growing you're having more of a a moment of expansion a lot of expansion when it comes to your when it comes to your spiritual intelligence you at as this is occurring this here the physic the physical component of your life is also improving because by expanding the spiritual brain you're also addressing right and putting in place in the right place organizing things about how good you feel in this earth how good you feel in this body how good um you really see in yourself because 
again, some of you Virgos, this is all kind of occurring perhaps to reveal to you that how good you are, how competent you are, how capable you are, how needy you are. Not only, you know, in a subservient manner where you're, you know, helping others and uh, not gaining anything. In return, it's more of a understanding that you, you are a very important person right? But understanding this in a way that it's not like in arrogance, in a, in, in, a, in a, a concept of vanity. This is an acknowledgement that you are very important to yourself mostly. Maybe you didn't felt that you were that important, that you were that special, talented, intelligent, capable, that maybe you didn't felt even that you have, you know, a voice, that you have been heard by those around you or in your workplace. Because for some of you Virgos, there's something good about work and finances occurring here as well. Your collaborations during this time are gold, is, is gold. Why? Again, because you're able to bring unity you're able to bring things working together to produce abundance to produce a level of financial independence and self-esteem in your life that is amazing that is amazing so where perhaps you felt like you didn't have a lot of strength you now being shown the opposite, that you do have a lot of strength, that you do have a lot of importance, that people actually hear you, that pe people actually see you as being this portrait of wisdom, okay? So July is to help you focus in yourself. It's a very interesting thing because the moment is a lot about others and things that you need to be in the middle dealing with. But yet, by that occurring, this is just bringing you together. This is just bringing you, I'm sorry, this is just bringing you closer to an understanding of your worth and an understanding of your talent and your value. So if you're a high value person, if your work is high value, everything, and you, you know this now, and you're sure of this now, everything that you will decide to do forward, all the options, all, all the decisions, all the relationships are going to have this as a foundation, that you're a high value person. So in return, you need to receive treatment that is worthy of that high value you see in yourself. So you won't accept, um, you know, being taken of your rights, not being paid what you're worth when it comes to work, not charging what you're worth perhaps as well when it comes to work, especially for those that are independent workers. Um, not accepting treatment from people that does not respect you, that does not put you in that value, not accepting um, crumbles of love and attention. So everything, <laughs> for some of you Virgos, is like all of this, whatever you go through that started in June and continues in July is to help you emerge in beauty, where you feel good with the human side in you and with the godly side in you. So when you recognize that you have God, God's essence, that you're also God, that you're also goddess energy, 
there's a lot of um there's a lot that has a natural effect of that understanding um that happens before you know it being that if you feel good with everything body mind and soul what it is that you can't accomplish what kind of lifestyle of peace of abundance of just being centered and connected with it all would you have if you really felt aligned in that goodness so i hope you have a great mid uh, a great month of july i'm sorry um hopefully we'll see each other soon